Hey everyone! In this tutorial I will show you how you can integrate the Adventure Kit into an existing project and for this I have already created a new project based on the third-person adventure um, game template from the Unreal Engine and we will now add Adventure Kit functionality to it. So the first thing to do is to add the core components of the kit. So we'll add the feature pack Adventure Kit Core this will take some time until it is imported. Okay, so now there is the folder Adventure Kit and NMS Data Pack. And the next thing we need to do is change our. Blue oh, let's just first add a few ledges into the map. Into the map. So we go to Zones, Blueprints, and we'll put in the ledge zone static. Go. Uh, let's put it a bit down. Let's add another one. For jumps. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is make our character uh, an adventure kit character and uh, use the zones. So we'll open the third person character. And we go to class settings change the character class to adventure kit character compile so now the character can uh, use adventure kit mechanics however it's not yet configured to do so um, in order to use the ledge zones we'll have to set the transition character to our third person character and then move them so you can jump again. Now a zone is pretty much an sp a special actor that constrains the character to move in a certain way. So uh, the ledges do so in by uh, constricting the character to just be able to move right and left and to um, transition to another zone. So these white arrows are transitions. This one for example is a transition to the other ledge and the ones down are transitions to let go of the ledge and um, if we create another ledge and move it up then there are jump transitions up and down to the ledge. Okay, whenever the character hits or overlaps a zone a property called pending transition is set and this can be used to implement custom logic. So we want the character to attach to a zone if he hits it. Uh, in order to kind of set the property when that happens we need um, the enter zones from hit automatically checkbox set and then we can get the pending transition struct and split this up. And this contains um, if the character wants to do a transition to a zone or from a zone. Uh, the transition property uh, references the taken transition component, the zone references the zone the character wants to go in, and the flag is valid is set if this struct is actually currently active or if not. Um, so in the tick, so each frame we want to check if the transition is valid. So we put a branch here. And if that is true, if the character has a transition, we want to see if he wants to transition to a zone. So we'll check if that is valid. Because the transition can also, so the flag here is valid, can also be true if the character leaves a zone. So in this case, zone would be uh, null and so we need to check if the character wants to enter a zone. If uh, the character wants to enter a zone, we want to see what kind of zone it is, so we call get physics. This is kind of the movement mode of the zone, so a ledge, uh, a ledge would have uh, ledge climbing, a wall would have wall climbing, and so on. And we want to set the movement mode, so we'll get the uh, adventure kit movement component and set the adventure kit movement mode to 
to whatever the zone has as physics. And lastly, we'll call set zone on the character, which then applies uh, the zone to the character. So the actor becomes the base, the movement base of the character, and um, it snaps to the zone and it clears the pending condition, which means this flag here is set to false again. Okay, I'll compile that. And now, as we hit the ledge, the character snaps to the ledge and now moves along it. And if we have a transition to the side, the character instantly snaps to the other ledge. Now, of course this isn't really, um, well, it doesn't look like ledge climbing so far, so uh, we also need to add the, uh, to change the NM blueprint to represent the new climbing state, and this will be done in the next tutorial. So see you then.